and it feels so soft because it doesn't look like traditional African print if you know what I mean what's up guys and welcome back to the channel my name is Priscilla I'm a Nigerian women's wear designer based in London in this video I'm going to be showing you guys some fabrics that have just been added to the Kim Day fabric shop as well as some products that my sister produced and sent from Nigeria for me to you know help support her hustle I'm going to be sharing it with you guys in this video as well as how much you were able to raise for the NGO stand to end rape if you don't know they are the NGO I've partnered with to support through the sales of my fabrics and I just think it's a really brilliant way to give back to the world one way or the other but if you'd like to find out my favorite fabrics my sister's products as well as I don't know things like prizes and if the shop would actually exist after this month then keep on watching so let's start out with fabrics because that's one of my favorite things in the entire universe like fabrics really honestly inspire me and get me very excited and i know some of you guys share that sort of feeling <laughs> with me as well so the first set of fabrics i would just like you guys to know about is the silk prints that my sister sourced from nigeria and these come in a bundle of six yards i believe six yards and they're slightly longer than the Ankara print in terms of width so I think the width is about 58 inches compared to Ankara that has about 40 44 or 45 inches depending on the company so the reason why I wanted to add silk is because I have gotten requests sent to me personally if I could I don't know add Ankara print somehow or softer fabrics because cotton is not really everyone's cup of tea so this one has a combination of yellow green pink white and black and I swear when I saw it, it reminded me of, you know, the Burberry print. It sort of has that sort of um, repetition of pattern in like squares and grids. And it feels so soft. She was only able to get five like different designs in six yards bundle each. And they're all available on the shop now. I wish I could actually keep one for myself to make, I don't know, a button-up shirt or a pair of trousers or a jumpsuit. But... I don't want to be selfish so I'm just going to put it out there for you guys now moving on to our normal Ankara print which is made or which is printed on cotton this one has pink green blues um, brown burgundy and what I actually really like about the fabric is how soft it feels if you've been buying Ankara long enough you know some of them tend to feel like paper like literal paper but this one has this soft feel against the skin and I love the fact that the colors are not too harsh they are not too bright and not like all up in your face it's something that even if you're not a huge fan of wearing prints this is a good way to start because it doesn't look like traditional African print if you know what I mean so I particularly like this one and it comes in a bundle of six yards and there are only two sort of sets for this particular print available on the shop I also like you guys to know that you know that popular bestseller print which is the yellow and blue so it's also back in another colorway of white yellow and red and this fabric in the yellow always sells out so quickly i don't know why people really seem to like this print so i just thought it'd be wise to bring it back again for you guys as well as another color option for someone who doesn't really like yellow or blues or any of that color combination so in terms of prices the prices are fairly similar to what it was for the first and second drop starting at 23 pounds up on the way to 30 32 pounds for the silk and like I said before the prices are hugely influenced by the quality of the fabric I just believe if you're paying more then what you're paying for should be of higher quality so it's fair to anyone who comes on the shop and spends their hard-end coin as for shipping shipping is available within the UK Europe US Canada I added some more countries recently. I don't know if I can remember all of them, but I know there is Kenya, there is Singapore, there is Malaysia. I think India is on the list. But the reason why I'm very, very sort of picky on which country I add is I want to be sure of exactly how much it will cost to ship to your country and not just put an estimated price that I might end up overcharging you or I might end up sending products to you for 
money that i don't even have so if you would like your country to be added to the shipping destinations comment down below and believe me i will go to the post office myself and i will ask for those rates and i will add it to the shop now to the fun part i think this is the part of the video that i'm most excited about because my sister her name is laura Okban. she has an instagram called aries online she's actually the one who goes to the market to buy the fabrics and send them to me so it's not like i buy the fabrics from china or from anywhere like that no my sister actually buys them and sends them to me and she decided to come up with her own product so she decided to start up with a silk lined bonnet and i really like this particular print because she decided to go vintage in terms of her fabric choices this fabric just says bougie like and it's aligned with silk even on the inside so you know your hair is protected and safe and i think i love how she extended the what i call these the edges and it's elasticated so you know it has good grip around your head in terms of the sizes around sort of the middle region here so around here is about 60 centimeters so it's not really big neither is it too small it would take extensions braids natural hair quite nicely because there's a good amount of room in there to hold your hair in place so this particular fabric comes in i think three different styles there is one that doesn't have this extended bit here there's one that has a bow and those three different styles come for every fabric sort of choice and design that she has on the shop they're available on the shop right now link is down below support the baby girl back home in nigeria i was so proud when she told me she wanted to do this i was like yes yes sis i got you so the second design that she has that I thought was really cute is this one that has Would you call this a bow? This is not a bow, but it sort of rouges up at the front like this It has an elastic on the back and this is for kids so this the size is really small it's about 40 centimeters all the way around and except your head is really really tiny i don't think this would fit like um an adult this is just meant for kids it only comes in this fabric which is this lovely pink and gold silk material it's lined on the inside as well with black silk in terms of age i think it would be girls from the ages of i don't know two three to about eight nine so really young kids because like i said the sizing is quite small so please don't get this if you're an adult and expect this to fit you except your head is like you know really small for the month of june i believe it was the month of june for the month of june we were able to raise the amount of 69 pounds and 69 pence for a stand to end rape i just rounded off the figure and sent them 72 pounds because for charges and all whatnot but I felt really good to be able to be part of raising money for a good cause and if you're one of those people that bought fabrics you checked out their website you sort of read about their history and how they actually help out people boys girls men and women who have been exposed to domestic rape violence you know everything in that horrible category then thank you so so much see the thing you know the thing about life and people think it's so long and you have I don't know looks or money for a very long time but as i really grow older it really occurs to me more and more often that this life that you have if you don't live it in such a way that you are blessing someone next to you or you are being a blessing to you, your family or your community or to your country then what's the point i mean one day you will die and you leave all the money your looks will fade away the talent will be gone and if you don't impact someone's life positively or inspire someone to be a better version of themselves i just think it's really pointless honestly i don't think i don't think life should be sort of lived so selfishly so thanks to everyone who supported in the month of june let's do this again the month of july i think this is going to be one of the last drops for this year because the shop has been doing really well the products sell really quickly but there's so much going on right now i have the shop i have the channel i have sewing classes there's so much going on and i don't want to that i don't want to get to that point of being overwhelmed and one part of my life or business starts to suffer so after this drop i don't think there'll be any drops this year until i come on here and tell you guys hey 
there's fabric to shuffle but i think this is going to be the last drop for 2018 until further notice i'll let you guys know when the shop starts running again but thanks to everyone who has made this come to life to my sister who really goes to the market with have slippers and tank top and bag and haggles with those market women thank you so much you are more than a blessing to me you've made my life and what i do so much more fulfilling because when you work that hard it gives me more reason to work even harder and to support you in all that you choose to do to my mom who is like my biggest fan i don't know who is the biggest fan between my mom and george like those two people are a huge huge blessing to my life there are days when i wake up and i'm just feeling really crappy and when i talk to either my mom or george you're always like you can't just let what you do just like go like that there are so many people who you've inspired there's so many people who you've made happy there's so many people who have decided to do something that they were scared to do because of what you are doing right now so to my mom back in nigeria god bless you so much for being such an amazing parent to george and tunes my fiance mm. <sighs> words cannot even describe but i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video thank you so much for all your love for all your support even on days when i don't post videos for still messaging me personally on facebook and instagram and twitter and everyone even sending me emails thank you so so much if i don't respond to your message it does not mean that i'm ignoring you it just means that there are so many messages to reply to and i try to get back to all of you guys as soon as i can so if you did enjoy this video give it a thumbs up up, comment all of your questions suggestions and ideas down below you know how we roll on this channel is like the videos I create is because you guys actually want to see them so if there's a particular topic or garment or idea that you want me to address then comment it down below and I will see you guys in my next one bye